Hi, I'm Melissa. Welcome to Yoga for Anxiety. Each week, I post three new yoga videos to make sure to subscribe to my channel. Today, I have a 10-minute beginner yoga class. This one will be great when you need a short practice and you don't have a lot of time. All right, let's go ahead and get started. You can sit cross-legged just like I'm sitting right now. Take a moment, make sure your sit bones are firmly rooted into the earth. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders back and sit up tall. On your next inhale, lift both of your hands up to the sky. As you exhale, lower your right hand to the side of the body and come into a side stretch. We'll hold this here for just a moment. Good, on your next inhale, reach up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, lower your left hand to the side of the body and come into a side stretch. Once again, pause here in this stretch. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, lower your hands to the sides of your body. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. So gently turn your head so that your gaze comes over your right shoulder. We're just coming into a gentle neck stretch. Slowly begin to rotate your head and take your gaze over your left shoulder. So just evening out that stretch on the opposite side. Once you're ready, return to center. From here, we'll come into tabletop position. So begin to thread your legs behind you. Come up onto all fours. You wanna come on your hands and on your knees. Take a moment, make sure your knees are stacked under your hips. And then make sure your wrists are stacked under your shoulders. Spread your fingertips out wide and take your gaze in front of you. We'll do some cat cows here. On your next inhale, begin to lift your chest and take your gaze slightly up. As you exhale, round through the back and take your gaze inward. Inhale, gently squeeze your shoulder blades as you lift your chest. Exhale, hollow out your belly. Inhale, rise to cow pose. And then exhale, release to cat pose. Inhale and lift. And then exhale, release. Nice job, you can return to a neutral spine. From here, curl your toes underneath behind you. Sit back on your heels. So we're coming into a toe squat. I want you to roll your shoulder blades back and then lift through your chest. In this stretch, you'll feel a stretch all the way through your feet and then up your legs. This is a fascia stretch. We'll stay here for a moment. Let's add some shoulder shrugs to this stretch. So take your shoulders up, back, and down. And then do that again. Take the shoulders up, back, and down. We'll do that a couple more times. Continue to move your shoulders in a circular motion. Once more. And then relax your shoulders down. From here, we'll move into high plank pose. So thread your legs behind you. Stack your wrists right under your shoulders and press through the heels of your feet. Engage your abdominals. Gently push your head back like you're pushing into a headboard. Good. Start to push your hips back, come to downward facing dog. I start by deeply bending my knees and pushing my hips back. Then begin to lift your hips up to the sky, come up onto the balls of your feet. Lift your pelvis and then slowly begin to lower your heels down to the earth. Good. 
In downward facing dog, you can bend one knee at a time and just begin to walk out your dog. You can shake your head yes and no. And release any tension that you might be holding in the neck. Once you're ready, find stillness here and return to your downward facing dog. One more inhale. As you exhale, slowly lower both of your knees down to the mat. Come into child's pose. Take your knees wide out to the sides of the mat. Reach your fingertips to the top of the mat and relax your forehead down to the earth. Bend your elbows and bring the palms of your hands together for reverse prayer hands. Reach your fingertips out long and then slowly begin to rise. Come to a seated position and face the long end of your mat. Take the soles of your feet together. We're gonna to come into butterfly pose. So take a minute, make sure your sit bones are firmly rooted into the earth and grab onto your feet and just allow your knees to fall wide out to the sides. So this is a gentle hip and inner thigh stretch. From here, you're welcome to stay right here or if you'd like to take this pose a little bit deeper, you can start to hinge forward from the hips. Relax your gaze down to the earth. Next inhale, slowly begin to rise, come back up to a neutral spine. From here, we're gonna rotate and come onto our backs. So you can extend your legs long out in front of you, sit up tall, reach your fingertips in front of you, come to staff pose. From here, very slowly begin to lower yourself down onto the mat. So use your abdominals, lower yourself nice and slow. Once you're lying on your mat, you can hug both of your knees into your chest. Gently begin to rock from side to side. And just give yourself a gentle back massage. You can move from side to side, or you can make a figure eight pattern. Just begin to move in a way that feels good to your body. Once you feel complete, pause here. Release your hands from your legs. Take the soles of your feet down to your mat and keep your knees bent. We'll come into bridge pose. So for bridge pose, begin to lift your hips off of the mat. Engage your glutes and gently squeeze your inner thighs together. For a deeper stretch, you can interlace your fingers underneath your back. And then gently rock your shoulder blades underneath you. Actively lift your hips using your glutes. Keep your gaze up towards the ceiling. Take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, release your hands and slowly lower your hips down to the mat. From here, extend your legs out long, reach both of your arms overhead and come into a full body stretch. 
actively reach through your fingertips, reach through your toes and feel your entire body growing long and tall. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, relax your arms and legs, rock onto one side, use your hand to push yourself up to a seated position. Take your hands to prayer center. Thank you for doing this quick practice with me today. I hope to see you soon. Namaste.